What's going on? It's Kyogre 1324 up here today with another small video. It's going to be the 2017 PS3 collection. Now I know um, I didn't actually do a, a PS3 2017 collection. And the main reason for that is I don't have a lot of PS3 games. I thought I had more than this, but obviously not. I must have, um, I must have got rid of a, a, a lot of them. Um, the thing is, I thought I had more, but obviously not. I've just checked to see if I do have more, but I don't. Um, now, the reason mainly for that is because I never was a PS3. Now, don't get me wrong, the PS3 is a fantastic game. Once that I just realised I uh, missed Yeah, I never really um, collected for the PS3 because the um, main reason was I, I went from um, PS2 to Xbox 360, which a lot of people I knew did. Most people went with the Xbox 360 back in 2005 um, because it was the newest system at the time. Most people were waiting for the Xbox 360, well, it come first. And um, a lot of people I know do have PS3s, and don't get me wrong, I do have a PS3, and occasionally I do play on it, but not a lot. Um, back here when I was living at home, my brother had a PS3, and I have the Xbox 360 now. I didn't really play a lot of the PS3, but um, the PS3 is a great system. Don't get me wrong. It had multiple versions of it. Um, and each version is got its own pluses and uh, pros and cons, I guess. Um, the most sought after PS3 is the PS3 with um, PS2 backwards compatibility on it. But um, the only thing is that with the PS3 is that those models were didn't have a lot of space. Now, if you're someone like me, um, it's not an issue because you only get physical games for it, but a lot of people did like the digital games. And I'm going digital with Xbox One. But that being said, the PS3, I think, is a fantastic system and it's got lots of exclusives for it. And that's what I go for is exclusives on the PS3. If a game's multi-platform, it came out on the Xbox 360 and PS3, I'll get it on the Xbox 360 because I'm more of an Xbox collector, as you know. Well, um, I say that, but uh, <laughs> the PS2 collection is always growing, um, PS2 being my favorite system. And a lot of people might wonder, if you love the PS2 so much, why didn't you go with PS3? Um, just because I didn't really do it. And plus my mate, everyone I knew was getting an Xbox 360 or had an Xbox 360 rather than a PS3 um, so you won't see a lot of multi-platform games in here there might be one or two but um, for the most part these are all exclusive games for the system and that's what I go for and if I get a PS4 which I do want to get a PS4 um, it'll be the same thing I'll get exclusives and you know like with the Xbox I'll you know I get multi-platform games on the Xbox like this one for example is what I'm uh, not playing at this precise moment but playing off camera kind of thing but that's also on PS4 so I'll only get it on the Xbox one so anyway um, there's only a few here actually um, I thought oh for fuck's sake um, I thought I had more um, but obviously not um, so anyway, let's just get straight into it. Up first we have Dynasty Warriors 7 Empires. Now, as you know, I love Dynasty Warriors. I love warrior games in general. And I do want to get all of the um, Warriors games at one point. Um, but this one is 7 Empires. Only came out on the PS3. Decent game, no good one in the collection. I have here two copies of Extreme Legends Dynasty Warriors 7. But... One of them is Dynasty Wars Extreme Le um, Legend 7, and the other one is Dynasty Wars 8 Extreme Legend, which also came out on PS4 with extra content. Um, the, main re that, the main reason why you think, why have I got that, um, I brought it from a shop and they put the wrong disc in there. So I weren't complaining, I got the um, higher up game, but um, these three Dynasty Warrior games are good ones. They're all PS4 and um, 3 exclusives. Decent Dynasty Warrior games, good ones to have. And like I said, there's a lot of Warrior games on the PS3 that I need to hunt down. Um, let's see here. Um, I've messed up all my the um. I've messed up the whole fucking um point um the thing of this. So next here we have a Formula One Championship Edition. Um, I don't know if this is an exclusive to the PS3. I only got it because it's the Championship Edition. So part of me thinks it might be an exclusive version of the game. It's a Formula One game. What can I say? Um, I think it is exclusive because it's a Sony-made Formula One title, not the EA Formula One games. And uh, I don't mind racing games, but I don't play them nearly as much as I used to. Speaking of racing games, I've got here... Um, 
I thought I had another copy of it, but I don't. I thought I had two copies, so I must have uh, missed out on it. I've got here Gran Turismo 5 Prologue, which is the um, the Prologue version to Gran Turismo 5, and Gran Turismo 5 um, Academy Edition box, but it's the normal game um, of Gran Turismo 5. I thought I had the Academy Edition with the actual disc in there, but I must have sold it, I think. So, um, good game, good racing game. Um, didn't play it as much as I did Grand Turismo 4. Next we have here, Haze. It's made by Free Radical. It was made by the same company who made um, Time Splitters. Um, this game was meant to be the go-to game on the PS3 when it first launched, and it was going to be the next big thing. Unfortunately, it... Um, it didn't do very well and it just weren't that great of a game overall. I um, haven't played it yet though, but I've heard that it isn't nothing special. It's an okay game to give at least a go, um, but it's a very cheap one. And again, it's an exclusive, so you have to have it. Um, speaking of exclusives, we've got here Heavy Rain. Um, this game has had multiple releases. It's also had the PlayStation Move version. That's something to look out for, is that some games on PlayStation 3 have two versions. One normal and one with PlayStation Move capabilities, which is basically the, um, you know, the, uh, the little Wii-type sticks for the system. It's basically PlayStation answer to the Kinect or the Wii. Um, Heavy Rain is sort of one of the early sort of... Um, Games. It's a similar game to Fahrenheit or Indigo Prophecy, as it was known in America. Um, it's sort of a cinematic, cinematic um, game, similar to like the Telltale games, but it's one of those games, um, you know, like there's Beyond Two Souls and also um, Until Dawn. Similar style to that. Haven't played it, but it's one of those games that um, it's worth having, given a playthrough, because your playthrough will always be different depending on what you do. But again, an exclusive. Another early example of an exclusive game for the Xbox, um, PS3, sorry, Heavenly, Heavenly Sword. Um, I believe there is actually a sequel to this coming out on PS4 at some point. Um, this is a hack and slash game. It's similar to maybe Dynasty Warriors, but it didn't do very well. Um, it's a decent game, but uh, from what I've heard, it's not nothing special today, but still an exclusive nonetheless. And find this game very cheap. Um, PS3 is quite cheap to collect for. One thing I have noticed um, with PS3 is that um, some people tend to go for PS3 over Xbox 360. You only get the Xbox 360 exclusives because a lot of the time the PS3 version is cheaper. Um, for example, Star Wars, the um, Force, uh, Force Unleashed, it would normally like £10, £15 on the Xbox at one point, but it was only like £5 on the PS3. Next here we have Infamous. This was sort of a um, PlayStation's exclusive game. Um, it's the first one. It's sort of like um, prototype, one of those sort of open world superpower type games. Um, here it's a decent game. I haven't played a lot of PS3 games, so sorry, but uh, you can't hate on it. It was it was an exclusive for its time. A second one was made, and then of course there was, um, I think, Last Light or whatever it was called. Um, I can't remember. Sorry, um, there was the PS4 version of the game as well. Um, I'm trying to think up here. Oh, next here, is, this game is in my PS3 um, upstairs. I need to get it out and set up the PS3 and sort that out at some point. Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn. Now let me tell you something, this is an awesome game. It's got so many missions, so many mobile suits, graphics are really good. This is a sort of game you don't, you didn't, you wouldn't think came out, come out, would come out in, in um, the UK, but it did. It's a fucking awesome game. Really good Dynasty Warrior Gundam game. And in my opinion, the best Dynasty Warrior Gundam game. I, um, Alright, um, next we have, sorry, um, all of these are all over the place, so. Next we have here, J Stars versus, um, this is basically a Dragon Ball Z type fighting game, similar to like Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai Chi, but, uh, based around all sorts of Japanese, um, manga and anime characters, they've got One Piece, um, Naruto, Go, um, Bleach, and um, uh, Jangle Z, and 
all sorts of characters in here. Um, I haven't played it yet, he this is, but um, Heather likes this game. It looks like a pretty decent game. Um, next we have Killzone 2, a PlayStation exclusive. Um, of course, the first one came out on the Xbox, um, PS2. Um, they did release it again for the PS3 as part of a trilogy pack. That's the only way you can get the PS3 version other than digital, but I don't know if you can still do that. Um, exclusive series to the PlayStation. Um, I don't know how good it is. Some people really enjoy it, some don't. And then, of course, Killzone 3. This is the um, this one does include some PlayStation Move features. Haven't played it yet, so I can't really give you my opinions on it. Um, next, we do have a pretty solid series on the PlayStation 3. Little Big Planet. Um, Little Big Planet is an awesome game. It's a platforming game, but it's one of those games that um, it really. Um, showed off creativity. It was one of those build your own level kind of thing and the creativity in these games were fantastic The first one was good for its time. It's still a good game, but um, it just got better as the series went on um, Next we have um, Let me just sort try and sort these out I've messed up the order so um, Yeah um, next we have Metal Gear Solid 4 Sons of the Patriot, Guns of the Patriot, sorry. Um, very good game, Metal Gear Solid, fantastic series, exclusive to the PlayStation apart from the HD collection which did come out on the Xbox as well. And of course uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, but this is an exclusive to the PS3, um, fantastic series. Um, great game. A lot of people complained that this one had a lot of cutscenes um, rather than gameplay, but Metal Gear Solid's always been like that. Haven't played it myself, but it's a fantastic game. I know that much. Next we have Mobile Suit Gundam Target in Sight. Um, I don't really know a lot about this game, but I know it's a PS3 exclusive. Um, it's a Gundam game, but um, I don't really know a lot about it, but I do like to have my Gundam games. Next we have... Um, Mod Nation Racers, um, this is basically PlayStation's kart racer, um, each console has their own individual kart racers, um, this is sort of like um, Little Big Planet as a racing game I guess, you can build your own levels and stuff, haven't played it but I know it's, it's a solid game at least I hear. Next we have Motor Storm, now this is an awesome game, um, exclusive to the PlayStation, awesome Fast-paced action arcade style racing game. Lots of um, vehicles, lots of le awesome level design. Really fun racing series. And of course we have Motorstorm Pacific Rift, which was one of the... Um, it, it, oh, one set, um, someone's at the door. Scared the shit out of me. I'm wondering who was at the door. It's just uh, one of the neighbours dropping off an Avon order for Dawn. Um, but yeah, awesome expansion pack. Haven't played a lot of it, but great one. I'm also missing out on Apocalypse. I keep thinking I have it, but I know that I don't have it, so I know I can get it. Next we have Pain. Now this was one of the early PlayStation games. Originally, um, I think it was only a digital game, but now obviously they released a physical version of the game. It's basically like an Angry Birds style game. You launch a character and um, do crazy things, but it's a fun little experience, a fun game, but nothing special, but fun nonetheless. Next we have PlayStation's answer to um, Smash Bros. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. It's PlayStation's answer to Smash Bros. You've got a lot of PlayStation characters in here. You've got characters from Tekken, Metal Gear, Killzone, um, Jack and Daxter, all sorts of characters in here. It's an okay game. It's not as good as Smash Bros, but it was a, a novelty to have a game like this, and it was cross-platform with a PS Vita. Next we have um, Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. I'm kind of um, annoyed that this is my only Ratchet and Clank game I have in the entire collection, mainly because these games are getting expensive. Um, a good, good game. Um, Good series, very fun series, Ratchet and Clank, great series, good platform action games. Next we have, um, uh, next we have Resistant Fall of Man, another exclusive um, um, first person shooter to the PlayStation. Um, it's an okay game, it was good for its time, it sort of lost its... Um, you know, fan base, and but people still, some people still want to see a new, um, it revived at one point. 
cause a resistance to the sequel. Haven't played a lot of this, I've only played a bit of the first one. And of course, we have a um, PlayStation Move special edition steelbook of Resistance 3. Um, again, can't really say a lot about them, but just shows that I have them. Um, then we have, oh, uh, Prince of Persia trilogy, HD trilogy. It comes with the three Prince of Persia games. Very good games on the PS2. Um, awesome, awesome series on the PlayStation 2. Um, and of course, they brought it out on the PS3 as a HD collection. Great series. Can't go wrong with them. Prince of Persia. Next we have SOCOM Special Forces, of course SOCOM was an exclusive PlayStation tactical based army shooter, um, this is the Special Forces one, I don't know a lot about this one, haven't played a lot of SOCOM but I don't know if this is good or bad. Next we have a sealed Japanese game, this is Tokyo Jungle, um, now this game is supposedly um, region, f um, region 3 so you can play it or even on a, mo um, a European thing but I keep it sealed, um, haven't got around to playing it, they did release it as, um, they, there is a an American version as well that I believe came as part of a, um, a pack with four games and one of this was on there, I think you can get this on the PS um, four, I'm not sure, it's kind of an interesting game, it's like a, a survival game where you play as animals, kind of interesting but I keep it sealed, um, just so I can say that I've got a sealed PS3 game, um, but I might play it one day. Next we have Starhawk, um, yeah, um, next we have, um, Starhawk, um, this is sort of like a, um, open, well not an open world game, it's like a third person shooter with some sort of power defence in it. I don't know a lot about it but um, I hear it's an okay game. Um, then we have Soul Calibur 4, um, again with Soul Calibur you've got exclusive characters on this. Um, this the, ver the PS3 version was better of course because you got Darth Vader, whereas um, the Xbox 360 version you got um, Yoda which was kind of an un, um, a unfair character. Next we have here God of War 3. Um, again, God of War, fantastic hack and slash style um, game. Very good game, awesome series um, is the, um, the God of War games. You can't go wrong with God of War. I'm sorry, I'm trying to put these back in order. Um, you can't go wrong with God of War, awesome series, um, I don't know if you guys are looking forward to the new one. Um, then we have Sengoku Basura, Samurai Heroes. Um, I've done a review on this game before, um, a while ago actually, um, earlier in the year. Um, a cool little Capcom Dynasty Warriors type game, um, this is also on the Wii but it's hard to find on the Wii. <coughs> And it's a pretty decent game from what I know, um, remember. It's a fun game and I enjoyed it. It's a good sort of game that um, if you like Dynasty Warrior games, you'll enjoy. And last but not least, we have the Uncharted trilogy, of course. Drake's Fortune, um, Amongst Thieves, which second one, which a lot of people swear by, is the best Uncharted and Uncharted 3. Um, now the Uncharted series is uh, well received, a lot of people love the series. Um, I personally think it's a very good series but it's not my um, something I go out of my way just to get a PS4 just to play Uncharted 4. Some people might disagree with me on that one but hey um, nonetheless I will get around to playing a lot of these games. So that was my PS3 collection so you guys got two videos today for the price of one. Um, only because um, I don't know how many videos I'll be doing over the weekend with my brother. Um, I'll try and do some videos with them. I might do a um, Cards Against Humanity video where we play that and just have a laugh and I might try and record some, me and him doing some retro pie gaming against each other and of course if you enjoyed this video feel free to hit that thumbs up and of course feel free to comment below let me know what you think of the PS3 let me know what PS3 games you recommend I get and of course feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and join the family and of course have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video take care guys goodbye